Hi, today we are going to discuss how to start a foreign business in Europe. Before starting a business in another country, there are several things to consider. First, you should find out what types of activities a foreigner may conduct in the country of your choice. Private entrepreneurship is often limited to EU citizens only. Foreigners without local documents should consider other options. For example, usually a limited liability company can be opened without any restrictions. Know that there are certain restrictions for foreign companies willing to do business in the EU. They depend on each particular country and its licensing system. You must check whether a foreigner can provide certain types of activities and how easy is it, is it to get the license. Also, you must know about the documents which you should obtain before starting business activities. Most of the time directors need to have a work permit, founders don't have to bother with any permissions. But there are certain nuances in that too. For example, in Poland a foreigner must obtain a work permit only after he resides in the country for six months. So, if a director works less than that, he does not have to obtain a work permit. Other countries have different regulations, in most cases you will need a work permit immediately. Second, you must be aware of the tax system in the country. Often foreigners are subject to a different tax scheme. More or less corporate taxation is the same in all EU countries, but it can depend on whether the capital will stay in the country or go beyond its borders. Also, you may like the taxes like 9% or 15%, but they might increase, so please check. Third, you must be aware of the procedures of incorporation of the company. This means the timing, costs, complicity, limitations, and so on. These factors may influence your decision on where you open your business. Also, make sure you realize all the costs. Some countries allow registering a virtual address, some don't. A virtual address is your chance to save an traditional office. A foreigner must also find out whether it is easy to register for VAT. Some countries made the procedure more complicated. VAT rates are different, but registration and reimbursement procedures are pretty the same in all countries. That's all for today. If you have any questions or would like to speak to us for more details, contact us from down below. And do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye for now.